Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, uh, very good morning. So today I will be presenting uh, uh, a research on COVID-19. Okay, so this research is a group work. Okay, with other researchers. Okay, uh, so the topic that I will be discussing today is on COVID-19, students media use, trust and optimism during the movement control order. Alright, so this research was conducted together with Dr. Shakira Nasir and Dr. Wan Noshira Wan Muhammad Ghazali <clears throat> from the Department of Communication. So I think uh, everybody has uh, well, uh, not a very good knowledge about the background of the health pandemic. So our study focus especially on the experiences of students during the MCO. While COVID-19 is a global health crisis, okay, the MCO is a unique Malaysian experience because um, if you were to look at the background of the crisis or the pandemic in Malaysia, we could see that it started mostly in March where uh, there was a sudden spike in the infection in Malaysia. Because of the severity of the outbreak, okay, the Malaysian government proposed or um, install gazetted the MCO or the movement control order to mitigate the infection spread. Okay, it started uh, on March 18th and was extended to August 31st and now it has been extended until the end of 2020. So the MCO was gazetted by law making it legally binding to all Malaysians and those who are in Malaysia. Among the restrictions imposed were the prohibition of any forms of mass gatherings that included religious and cultural activities, border control, and the closure of schools, universities, government, and private offices. So these uh, uh, restrictions, you know, including border control and the closing of universities has affected many university students, especially in IIUM, because most of the international students are kind of stuck in campus, okay, and they were not able to go home, while the closure of the universities has made all academic activities um, uh, has stopped all academic activities. So uh, the quarantine has also left many students okay, at home okay, unable to continue with their studies. So this uh, research okay, wanted to look at how this situation okay, affected the students and how media use helped them go, to go through the quarantine or the MCO. So the research objectives. So these research objectives are just a subset of a bigger uh, study because we had a lot of ob other objectives that we tried to uh, uh, call it achieve in the study. But for this presentation today, I will only be discussing about these three. Okay, so the objectives are to identify students' media habits when under quarantine. We wanted to look at what were the news, how they use the media okay, to get or to seek information with regard to the health crisis, with regard to the pandemic. Okay, to examine which media sources students trust most when getting information, as well as to understand how media use affects the students' optimism during the health crisis. Okay, how, how the information they got, okay, and the media's contribution in helping them, okay, um, in helping them get a better feeling, okay, and, and optimism, okay, to go through the pandemic. So we methodologically, we used quantitative research, uh, specifically focusing on sur online survey questionnaires. Okay? We collected data from 360 IIUM students okay? and we analyzed those data via SPSS. But in this presentation, for this presentation, I will be only presenting the preliminary descriptive data. So these are the basic demographics of our respondents. Okay, most of the respondents were female, okay, and mostly were Malaysian. Okay, but we have a significant number of international respondents, which made up 14% of those who answered the questionnaires. And 75% um, of those who answered the questionnaires were at, were staying at home at the time, while 25% were in campus. So this 25% or almost 90 students, okay, were being quarantine, quarantined uh, in campus. So they probably had a different experience. So for the first objectives, okay, we wanted to know, okay, how, which media that the students use most when they want to seek or get information about the pandemic and what, about whatever that is happening at that time. 
okay so the study uncovered okay so this we asked um we asked the students again okay, which uh, media did they use most okay and many answered that the media they use most is the text from mkn that means the text that were coming from the majlis keselamatan negara okay were the main source of information for them Okay, so they relied on all the information that usually comes every evening of, on everybody's uh, what call it, uh, SMS. And this is followed by government websites. Okay, uh, this could be Ministry of Health uh, and also um, the Majlis Keselamatan Negara's website. Okay. And then there's the university emails, okay, because in IIUM, the university often send information, okay, to the students, okay, to inform them about the current restrictions and conditions. So in this sense, okay, we can see that the students, okay, uh, opted to use more formal, mainstream, authoritative media when it comes to getting information about the pandemic, okay. While they are still active on social media, okay, with Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, okay, and Twitter mostly, it can be seen that when it comes to getting serious information, okay, they still opt for more author uh, authoritative, okay, media. And when uh, we talk about media use, we also ask the students, okay, which media do they trust most? Okay, when it comes to um, getting information. So again, okay, uh, they trusted mostly authoritative governmental, okay, institutions. Okay, and uh, this can be seen, okay, there's a significant difference between, okay, the trust in social media and trust in uh, authoritative bodies. Okay, the government was the most tr trusted media source followed by international bodies. So international bodies here are mostly authoritative health bodies like the World Health Organizations. Okay, and then this is followed again by university emails. Okay, so most of the information that they get from the university, they uh, held it with high regard. Okay, followed by radio, TV, newspapers. Okay, and you can see that they also trust what news that comes from international news agencies such as CNN, Reuters, and AP. Okay, and the numbers of trust, okay, the percentage of trust on social media is very quite low. Okay, so this supports the idea, okay, that the students were inclined, okay, to find news, okay, from authorities, authorities rather than social media. Okay, most seek and trust information from the government, MKN, the university, uh, international health bodies, okay, they trust, okay, uh, institutions with a credible background rather than social media. And when they get all this information, okay, it appears that it uh, influences their optimism, okay, the way they feel about their well-being during the pandemic. Okay, and this includes students who were stuck in campus. <clears throat> because of this information, okay, the trust that they have okay, with the information that they got is the students were quite optimistic. 83.8% okay, of them feel that they can still practice religion and faith will lead them out of the pandemic. This means that they also got some source of uh, some information, okay, really, uh, uh, information or relation to religion from the uh, information that they get from the media and also because okay um, you need to read this is a study conducted on students from the international islamic university the um, component of religion is still very significant so that means okay when they were uh, assessing information they got this information from authoritative bodies and they also got information that is related to the role of religion in helping them go through this pandemic. 80% of the students are optimistic that the pandemic will bring up positive change and better opportunities. So this also shows that the media, okay, or the information that they got, okay, have created some kind of an optimism because they believe this is a, something that they will go through and will actually create some kind of opportunity. 
and the 74.7%, okay, almost 75% are positive that the government and the relevant authorities will lead, okay, the nation, Malaysia, them, okay, out of the pandemic. Okay, so this is a unique uh, finding because usually we always find uh, young people, students having, being anti-authority, but uh, in times of crisis, okay, they tend to be very trusting of the government and the authority, authorities. 74% also believe that the university as an institution is doing its best to ensure their academic and general well-being. So these students are optimistic because the information they get from the university okay, has been able to um, make them believe okay, that they are uh, okay and that they are academic okay, um, progress will go on as usual. 66% of them believe that they will be able to spend their time wisely while under quarantine. Okay, so they don't feel okay, being at home under lockdown as something that is time uh, wasting, okay, that they can actually do something about it. Okay. So in conclusion, okay, the students okay, that we studied here are active media users okay, and they are uh, informed uh, media users because okay, they know where to find the right information. Although they are active on social media, but social media is often used for entertainment. Okay, when, com when it comes to getting um, real hard information, especially about the pandemic, they, they tend to choose okay, information from authorities and mainstream media rather than the social media. And this information that they got, okay, uh, has made them feel very optimistic and positive about how the authorities are handling the crisis. So this I would suggest would relate to, you know, it could be very um, beneficial if we can, or if there is a study that uh, look at how the government has used the media for uh, doing this as a form of crisis communication because it appears that they have been doing something right, okay? And because of this uh, use, okay, okay, health uh, crisis communication used by these authorities, okay, the students also become more trusting of the authorities, and this has also made them feel optimistic about their own well-being, because they believe they are being taken care of. Okay, so this is the uh, simple conclusion, okay, of our study, okay. Um, if there is any question and answer, okay, I will try my best to answer. So, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.